What is going on, Team Nation? It is your boy TJ, the Jar Nuts. You are coming back at you live from a storage unit. Well, I'm not live, I'm recording, but you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to give y'all a sneak peek on this auction that I, storage unit that I won in an auction. I'm not going to go into the price right now because I'm just going to give you a sneak peek. Um, the plan is to take this and move it over to my storage unit. I'm actually adding another storage unit to my arsenal um, to, to put storage auction finds and stuff like that in to get organized. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you all just a, a brief from the outside. I'm going to I'm going to pan through, make a real quick intro video to this. And then what I'm going to do is once I move it over to the storage unit, I'm going to get all the trash and all the stuff that out of it. And then we're going to go through it methodically um, and break it into a into a series. I don't know how many exactly how many videos it might be five, might be ten. But then but then we're also going I'm also going to start going live from my storage unit and we're going to do some unboxing so you guys are going to get a first glimpse when i unbox these things i'm going to unbox like five to ten boxes at, at, on per live stream so you guys are going to go on this journey with me but without further ado, let's get into this unit is 11 12. um i, I want it like i said i wanted a, a week or two ago they had to fix the door so that's why i haven't moved i talked about it some people knew about it already that i want it they know what i paid for it um i'll just tell you i paid 200 dollars for this unit um, it's cram full history behind it. I guess the guy had had it since 1998. So we might be finding some good stuff in here. Might, fi might find a lot of trash. We don't know. But for 200 bucks for a pack 10 by 20, I'm down. So let's go take a just quick look. And you guys are going to see this with me for the first time live. Because I I've only opened the door and just kind of looked in it. But I'm not going to go deep into it. We're just going to kind of pan around, look, see what we see. And then you guys will have to come back for the next part after I get it moved. Um, I'm gonna film when we move it too, show you a couple things coming out of there, and then once we get it in place in the storage unit, we're gonna break down the series. So let's go take a look at this, guys. So let me flip you guys around. All right, here it is, guys. Like I said, this is a 10 by 20. Um, the guy owned it since 1998. So there's possible all kinds of goodies in here. I mean, it's crammed full. Um, first off the bat, some people had saw pictures of it. This doll, if you all notice, it's got a pound puppy um outfit on so you know pound puppies ain't been around um one thing i did notice was this voltron i believe it's voltron um toy that was sitting right here on the opening so there's definitely some toys um there's a table right here that you can see um this is an old looks like pillow um it's got old mickey mini um stuff like that there's a little globe bank right there but i mean this thing is cram full cram full um, and the plan is, um, I'm going to go through it. Um, there's an old TV. Y'all, look at that. Look back there. There's an old sewing machine, a TV. Um, so this kind of give you an idea. I mean, it's packed. Um, so we're going to move it. Zoom out here a little bit. Get that out of your way. So, I mean, it's packed. If you look down here, there's a locked trunk. Y'all see that? It's got a lock on it. So you know there might be something in there. This is an old vintage Chicago Bulls bag with Taz on it. So that's one of the things I saw through the pictures. I bid this on the pictures, did not see it live, so. But you guys are seeing it. Um, some of these boxes, let me, I'll open up one of these boxes right here for y'all just to give y'all a sneak peek. So this, I opened up this one a little bit ago. Um, there's another box in here. It's got some toys. So kind of put some um, I'm seeing a, a theme of toys in here. Um, so, um, a lot of older stuff. Um, plan is, if I find anything of importance, um, I told the, the storage unit that I would return it. If I found some kind of personal family heirlooms or something like that, I would return them. Um, but this, I don't know what this is. A big piece of furniture looks like a, possibly a entertainment center. There's a dining room table top right there. Um, let's take a look at sneak peek in this box right here. Um, looks like a landmark uh, printer in a Dell box. So, I mean, there's some purses, some clothing. Um, like I said, I'm going to go through it. Um, I'm going to donate what I can. Um, if there's stuff that I'm not going to sell, obviously I'm going to donate the good stuff, um, stuff that's, that's usable. I'm also going to clean up all the clothes and going to, um, there's some more toys in here. You guys can see there. So definitely, um, I got three big gallon size like pickle jars right here. So definitely, definitely, definitely excited about this one to bring this guys to you. Um, this is just a quick sneak peek. Like I said, we're going to start moving it um, this weekend or next and I will film 
Um, I will film us moving it. So if I come across anything, I'll kind of show it to the camera, get some footage of us moving it out, some footage of us moving it in. Um, I'm currently working with, I'm waiting on a uh, callback from my storage unit. There's a possible 12 by 30 that's been reserved forever. But they're gonna call on the guy today and find out if he really wants it. If not, I'm gonna grab it. We're gonna move this stuff in there. I'm gonna go to Sam's Club, get some freaking um, industrial shelves, put them up. So when we move this stuff, we can methodically move it in. Um, any trash that I find, we're just gonna take straight to the dump. We're gonna load that up into my truck. But guys, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. Um, I know y'all have been reaching out to me um, about my health and I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I I've got everything under control. I'm not dying, I don't know, some of y'all like, damn. Thought he was dying. No, my wife's not getting insurance right now. She's not getting a life insurance policy just yet. I'm still kicking. I just, I, I've, guys, just take this as a word of advice. Take care of yourself. Um, 20 years in the Marine Corps, I was mentally trained. We don't go to medical. We don't go take care of ourselves. I'm 45 now, and you got to take care of yourself. You got to take care of your heart. You got to take care of your your lungs. You got to take care of your body. So, as a mental health guys, stay in the game. Make sure you take yourself. Listen to your wives, men. Listen to your wives, and go get. The treatment you need go get the doc go to the doctor's appointments don't let your ego override your health all right guys so glad to be back this is going to be posted up today and then you guys will see the the the, the future series coming out so stay tuned appreciate you guys as always stay humble stay hungry stay focused peace